my dear brothers and sisters, what I'm asking you to look at today, look at your life, look at what you follow, look at your, what you call Islam. I wonder how much of your Islam is really based upon the Quran. How much of your Islam is really based upon following the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? How much of it? There are so many things Muslims do today and we are famous all throughout the world. The whole people of this world, they know Muslims, forced marriages. I don't mean arranged marriage, forced marriages, forcing a woman to marry someone she doesn't want to, forcing your daughter to marry someone she doesn't want to marry. It is not even in Islam for anyone listening. In Islam, it is not even valid as a marriage contract. It, in Sharia, it is not valid. It is a condition of the validity of the marriage that the two people who are getting married agree. Yet, Muslims are famous for forced marriages. In certain parts of the Muslim world, we are famous for female genital mutilation. Even though the Prophet wasallam warned against this, but people are so addicted to it because it's their culture. It's not the deen, it's their culture. We can find so many examples amongst the Muslims. And these are some examples, but even more dangerous, even more dangerous than this, my brothers and sisters, are the things that we do thinking it is Islam, thinking that it's part of the guidance, thinking that it's the sunnah and this is where shaitan the devil has really taken us for a ride he's really fooled us he's so happy because you know what if you do something thinking it's religion you'll never ever make toba why would you repent if you think you're getting close to allah you'll never think to repent you never think to say forgive me allah if you make zina or you drink alcohol or you steal you all know that's haram Believe me, even the people who are not Muslim, they know these things are forbidden. Yes, true or not? Okay, so if you do these things, surely you will feel bad, you will feel guilty. But how about when you are doing something and you think this is from the religion? You think the religion teaches you this. But in fact, if you search in the Quran, and you look in the actual sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you will not find that they did this. And even if you look at the Sahaba, even if you look at the Sahaba, you will not find they ever did these things.